Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner. I'm available for good reviews, contracting, and training. In this episode I'd like, well, I'd like to give you a little bit of a quiz, so I'm just gonna start right out here. What does this code do? What does this code return from main? I have created a vector, standard vector, and I have populated it with the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It has six elements. Those are their values. And then I am calling data bracket operator. This is also known as the array subscript operator, or the index operator, if you go to look this up. Um, and I am calling two comma three. So what does two comma three do? Am I accessing this as a two dimensional array? Am I returning the third element or am I returning the fourth element? What value, what position am I returning? Now, if you don't know, I'll give you a moment to think about this, but if you don't know, the comma operator when used in this context evaluates both and returns the second value. This can be used in many ways to abuse things. Let's just say I had a logging function here. I might be able to do something like this. This is going to call log, and then it is going to return the value three from the expression. So I am going to get the fourth element four returned from my function here. Now, if I go back to making it like this, and go ahead and turn on run the compiled program, then I can see that in fact four is being returned. This is kind of broken. And it doesn't generate any warnings here on GCC. Well, at least it didn't until like a week ago when I can go in and I can put in a C++ 2A mode. And when I do that, I now get a warning saying top level comma expression and array subscript is deprecated. So there we go. In C++ 20, this use of the comma operator has been in fact deprecated. This is one of the features that is being removed from the language, and it is being removed from the language specifically so that hopefully in the future someday we can actually have multi-dimensional arrays in C++. So we're all looking forward to that day. This has been a short episode of C++ Weekly, but I hope you liked it, and thanks for watching.